Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to my live, although I am pre-recording this for you on Sunday. Um, and hopefully I will make this go live, well, recorded, so you can see it on Monday at my usual time at 3.30. And again, welcome. My name is Pat Mayer, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm located in Ohio in the United States. So um, I will be gone next week, and so I didn't want to um, not leave, or I didn't want to leave without having something to share with you. So I've come up with um, something that has been floating around on a lot of websites. And it is a technique, but I'm going to twist it up a little bit and add my own little spin to it. So it's called, let's see, um, let's flip you down to my desktop here. Full desktop. So let me get my buttons going right here. There we go. And... I can turn that off. The technique that I'm going to use is called the stack, cut, and shuffle. That kind of sounds like some kind of dance move, I guess. Um, but it is a way of using your designer paper. And um, maybe it's a different way. It's kind of like a quilt technique. And again, I'm going to add something special to it. But let me tell you what I'm going to be using today. Um, the stamp set, well, actually, I'm not using the stamp set, but I'm using some of the dies and the paper that is currently available in the mini catalog that will retire on June 30th. And it's the Abstract Beauty Designer Series paper, which I believe is still available. Um, but will not be, and it did not, excuse me, it did not carry over. So I'm going to be using that paper. It's awesome. I love it. Um, and I'm going to be using these adhesive backed hexagons. And I really, I don't believe those stayed over. Let me double check. Um, if they did, that's a bonus. Um... No, we don't have the, the hexagons, unfortunately. So I'm going to be using this paper, a few of those hexagons, but all of these other things are also retiring. Paper, the uh, ephemera pack, which is pretty cool, and the abstract beauty cards and envelopes. So all those will be going away at the end of June. The only thing that stayed and carried over is the beautiful um, Hello Beautiful stamp set and the dies that coordinate. And currently it is available still as a bundle. It will not be as a bundle with the 10% discount in the new catalog when this, when this goes away. So let's talk about this little dance move, stack, cut, and shuffle. And while I'm getting my things ready, I will let you know that Tuesday, Tuesday, the 21st of June, is going to be a free shipping day. And it is with a $75 order. And that could give you an opportunity to get some things that you would like to have, stock up on paper, and um, get some things out of that mini catalog that will be going away. So please contact me if you're interested. And um, I will be out of town all week, but I will have access to email, text, uh, phone calls if you need to call me and know my number. All right, let me tell you about this abstract beauty paper. This is, well, what can I say? 
It is a paper that is already four by six. And I was really hoping that we would get more of this size because it's just perfect. You can cut it down to what you need. And what I'll need today is four by five and a quarter. So this is an easy cut, but this paper is awesome. It's got a lot of gold in it. Let's see, here's, oh, I've got lots of little pieces here. Here is, and I know I've used this before in a live. Uh, here's one of the paper um, cards from the Cards and Envelopes, which is also four by six and has the envelopes to match that size. Um, and it's perfect for these little boxes that I have. And then I was cutting up my paper, um, and still am my designer paper, to the four by six size. But this is already pre-cut. And we've got a lot of gold, gold accents. And the other colors that are in here are balmy blue, basic black, blushing bride, crushed curry, just jade, which is a retired color. So that is, even though it's in this paper, it is not available as a cardstock. Um, Magenta Madness, there's another one. Misty Moonlight, another one. Night of Navy, Pumpkin Pie, and of course, Basic White. But all of these could be uh, complementary to some other color in our color palette. So here we have that. Um, and I will show you some of the cards I've already made. But for this project, I have chosen four pieces of this paper that I think look nice together or will look nice together. Let me get this here. You need four pieces that you want to stack together. These don't need to be in any, well, they probably could be in a particular order. I'm going to go with this gold one here. And we're going to do some cutting. So with this stack, cut, and shuffle technique, you want to cut your paper to four by five and a quarter. And you want to keep it stacked together like this. So let's get some things out of the way and grab my paper trimmer. So since these are already the perfect perfect size, I right now just want to cut off that little bit at the bottom that makes it four, excuse me, five and a quarter. It's already four inches. So five and a quarter. And your paper trimmer will go through all of those pieces. I usually run it through at least once or twice, and then that pulls off. This little bit is also good for putting on the inside of your card as a um, trim at the bottom. All right, now what we have left is the four by five and a quarter and I'm going to cut this paper this way. So now we're to the second step. We are to, where are we here? The cut part. We've stacked, now I'm going to cut, and according to this pattern that I have, I want to cut over two and three quarter inches. So I'll keep this here on the side so you can take a screenshot of it if you like or um, write that down while I'm cutting. Put those pieces there. And believe it or not, last week on my live, I was complaining, or we were all complaining, about how hot it was. Well, that went away yesterday. Um, and I'm sitting down here with my little sweatshirt jacket on again. Um, but it's going to get hot again. Okay, so I want to cut at two and three quarters. You want to keep these together 
So two and three quarters right there. And cut. Now I'm going to put this over here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing on the screen. I'm going to rotate this and now cut this three inches. So I get two sets here. One at three inches and then the other part that's left which really doesn't matter whether you measure that or not, or not, but this is three inches. So turn it back around this way. And then I'm going to bring this in, rotate this, because this is the way it came off of the cut, rotate this, and come down two inches. Now, one thing that I need to mention is, depending upon your paper that you use, You'll want to make sure that if there's a direction, that your directional uh, part is going to be um, in the right place, like for flowers or something else. Flowers is what I can think of right now. So now I have four pieces. So if you like quilting, this is also perfect. So let's get these off of the trimmer. and get ready for step three. And that's the shuffle part. So stand up, shake your hands, shuffle all around. All right, there we go. Put the trimmer away. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to jiggle the camera there. All right, now comes the fun part. I'm going to start up here in the upper right corner and I'm going to make four stacks. So this is the awesome part about this is that you can make four cards very, very quickly from one piece of paper. So with this one, I'm going to take one, the top one, and move it to the back. I'm going to take this one, this stack, and move two to the back. So that's the shuffling part. This one here, I'm going to go one, two, three, and have three to the back. So this is my first card that I'm going to make. I have some basic white cardstock already cut to size. And notice that I got some ink on this, but it's all going to get covered up anyway. And this is the layout that you use. So I'm not going to put any glue down yet. So this will go up in this corner. This is going to come down here. This is going to come over here, and this one is going to come here. Okay, let me move that up out of the way. So now the next one will be this, 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 and this. So now I've got the same colors, just a different layout. Looks like a totally different card. Okay, let's do the third one. We'll do this, this piece, this piece, and this piece. And one more. These are so much fun. And wait till you see what I'm going to add to it. 
Now, if for some reason there's one that you want to switch out, you don't like it as much, look and see what might be on the other side and you could change it, okay? I happen to like the ones that, that I chose. And this paper made it so easy to do that too. So since this is the last one, this is the one I'll go ahead and start to make. And you just add adhesive. So I'm going to just use my Tombow liquid. And actually, I think it's a little bit easier if I just add adhesive to the basic white cardstock. So just squiggle that all around there. Okay, if you're new to my channel, please leave a comment. Tell me where you're from. I would love to know. And if you are a regular viewer, please comment, say hi. And all I'm doing now is just laying those on there. Um, I think on this one I did leave a little bit of space in there. And with the liquid glue, there is a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, that one's all the way up to the top, but that's okay. okay I'm going to do one more, let that dry a little bit before I do the little twist part that I have not seen on any of the other um, projects that I've seen with this. So before I glue this down, let me see if I did actually leave this to have a little bit of space between the pieces. I think I did, okay. So I'm just gonna do two of these right now. You can see how the other two will go together. Then I have some samples to show you. Okay, this piece up here. I think I left like a sixteenth of an inch around there. So let me turn it this way. This one's going down here. And this one is going to go up here. Okay, and I'm going to set these other two aside to do a little bit later. Now here is my twist on this. And since this looks like a quilt, I'm going to Put an embossing folder on this. I'm going to run this through the stamp and cut and emboss machine and I'm going to use the gingham embossing folder and I call this embed so you're embedding this into the design of your your designer paper and it really adds a lot to it. Um, hold on while I get this lined up. Now the gingham embossing folder is a regular one. It's not a 3D. So for this, I need plate one, a plate three, my embossing folder and paper, and another plate three on the top. Everything 
sliding around here. And while I have this here, I might as well go ahead and do the other one too. So I've added a lot of texture to this. I think you can, can see that here too. It looks really nice. So let's put this one in here. And there are other embossing folders that would look really nice too, but I kind of like the way the gingham looks with the um, with this paper. Now, when you run your embossing folders through, you want to put the, the folded end through first. Normally, I stand up when I'm doing this, but I'm sitting down, so it's just a little bit harder to get that through, get the momentum going. And here are two cards that now have texture on them, as well as turn that around this way um, it could go either way and you can also if your if your design works you could make this a top fold card or you can make it a portrait card it depends on your designs and how it's laid out but these are the two that I've done so far so let's put this away and get this finished and with the colors that are in here I've decided to go with um, Night of Navy, and I'm using a piece that is 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. So let me grab a bone folder here. So my basic white is just an eighth of an inch around it is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. Let's add some adhesive to the back of this. So you can see how simple and easy it is to add um, texture to your cards and kind of embed that in there. It also helps the glue to stick as well. So if you wanted to turn this around this way, you could do that. Um, and again, make your orientation go a different way. I'll just keep it the same. go now we need to embellish and add something to this and I think I forgot to get my Knight of Navy ink pad so I might need to go and get that um, so let me pop over there very quickly There we go. Um, I have already pre-cut some of the designs from the Hello Beautiful die set. And this is the one that has the hexagons. Love the hexagons. So those are perfect. Here's another one. Um, and then I have some other designs from a different die set. So these will work with this.
And I know I said I wasn't going to use the whole beautiful stamp set, but I think I will since I have it out here to show. I was going to use, and I'll show you this in a minute, um, the Charming Sentiments stamp set, which is new in the annual catalog. And this is the one that has the dies that match and cut all of these out. Um, so this is this is a great set. This was definitely one of the things I was getting at the beginning. Um, let's see. Let's. I'm in the need for thank you cards, so I'm going to do thank you. And this has just a great font on it too. This is a great stamp set. Um, let's see. There we go. It's up here in the corner. Obviously, I have used it a lot. So I hope you're having a good week. I know that I'm going to be having a good time doing some crafting with some friends. Um, but I just knew I wasn't going to be in a situation where I could do my live where I'm going to be next week because I don't know if the internet connection is... Um, is good where I will be so but I will be back then next Monday live okay let's do thank you and I'm also going to do thank you on this design as well Clean that in a little bit. Oh, I just love these. These are so much fun. Um, okay, let's use these adhesive backed hexagons. Now, of course, because this is dark paper, I will be putting a piece of white in here, in here as well, and add these. I just didn't have extra cut. Oh, I do. I do have some extra cut. Let's cut this up. Um, let's cut this down to four. Do you save these little strips? These are perfect for small sentiments, so you don't want to throw those away. Just make yourself a, a basket or a little bucket and... Um, you're good to go. So make this four by five and a quarter and this four by five and a quarter. So these are the perfect um, pieces of paper for the small sentiments. Put a flag in there and you're good to go. Oh my goodness. My phone is jiggling and not paying attention to what I'm doing. All right, let's put this inside here. Then I will embellish. And this little piece of pink paper can go at the bottom. Oh, wait, there's cute little flowers here. Let's see, maybe I'll put the flowers on that side. Um, that's the joy of double-sided paper. You can mix things up and make it fun. So let's put that down at the bottom of this one. So this one's just about ready. And let's see what do we have here. Um, here's a piece of this little Looks like confetti paper, so let's put that on this one. There's a pretty, um, this is the Just Jade on the other side, but um, there's really no green in here to showcase that, so we'll just use this same color here. Okay. 
okay, and add this to the inside. Okay, there we go. And let's take some of these adhesive backed hexagons. And I better use them up because they won't be around very long. Um, okay, let's add some Stampin' Dimensionals. I only have some minis here right now. Add these here and here. I know a lot of people cut their large ones in half anyway. So the mini ones are just perfect for this. Okay, so there's our thank you there. And you can kind of offset it. And if your paper isn't exactly straight, um, like there's a little bit of a gap there, um, you can cover that up with your with your sentiment piece and nobody will ever know the difference. And here's this one. And Oh, here's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, okay, let's use some pink ones. And a little one here. And I guess I'll use the pink there because there's more pink here than, than any green. So let's do two large ones on that side. And then another little one over here. All right, perfect. There we go. So let me know what you think. I love this little stack, cut, and shuffle. And once again, here is the dimension for this. Your paper is four by five and a quarter. Now that's not meaning this paper. You could make your base a little bit bigger if you want, but your designer paper needs to be four by five and a quarter. Then you have got four quadrants, two and three quarters over, and cut that down, and then three inches and two inches. So those are the numbers that you need to remember, those four. So there you can take a quick screenshot of it if you like, or write that down. And then remember, it's called Stack, Cut, and Shuffle. So very quickly, let me show you some of the other designs. Um, that I made this morning. Um, these are from the Heart and Home Designer Series paper, which is also retiring. And here I focused on, let's see, Garden Green. And this had the Fresh Freesia. So there's that one. Here's another one, and this, the sentiments from this uh, came from Flowers of Friendship. Little card, big thanks, thank you for everything. Another little card, big thanks. So there's four there. So you've got really quick cards. And then here are the two others 
that I made, and I didn't get the other two made yet, from the Abstract Beauty. I wanted something to focus on black and white and the gold. And, oh goodness, this I just love. So thank you for everything. And again, this is from the Thankful, yeah, it's called Thank Flowers of Friendship. Um, and also using the adhesive back hexagons. And then, let's see, this also was with the gingham. And then this one um, is really kind of kind of wonky because I ran it through after I put it on the card base and I used the Hive embossing folder with that one. Um, and it looks okay, it's okay. And there's a thank you there. So lots of cards made very quickly and a lot of fun. So we've got those two and I still have two that I still have yet to make from what I cut today. And here's four. And then here are the two from today. So lots of cards, lots of cards, lots and lots and lots. So take care, have a great week and um, enjoy this beautiful weather before it gets hot again. And um, be sure to make pretty things and create. And I will see you next week at 3.30 on Monday, which I believe is the 27th of June. So last week, next week will be the last that I'll be able to show anything out of the current mini catalog. And if you have not received a mini catalog for the... Um, July, December yet, please let me know. Um, those are out and customers are getting those. So you can let me know if you still need to get one. And don't forget that this Tuesday, June 21st is free shipping. And that is with a $75 order. So I will be in touch and take care. Have a great week. Bye-bye.